Answer me, Daniel. What? what is your sister doing here? What? I wanted to come home. I missed you both. I missed you too, sweetie. But you should not have come home. Danny said you'd be excited to see me. I am excited to see you, oh, my baby. Well, what's the problem? Well, the problem, the problem is, is that it was unexpected. I didn't have time to plan. I, well, I wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> well, you succeeded. Come, we'll sit, we'll talk, we'll, we'll spend some time together, and then you will get back on a flight back to school. No, I just got here. I wish you had called me to tell me that, that you were lonesome. I would have come to visit you. I could have planned a beautiful trip to Paris. No, Mama. To Florence. I wanted to come home. I feel like I'm losing my family. You didn't even let me come for Mick's funeral. I wanted to save you from this pain. I needed to say goodbye. Instead, I had to suffer all alone. You know, I, I explained it to her. There was no reason in you getting involved. Danny, no, please. He was my brother. And I loved him, too. You didn't even explain to me what happened. I just didn't want anything distracting you from your schoolwork. I miss you. Please, I miss you, Mom. Baby, you know how I miss you, too. Oh my God, I wish, I wish when I was your age that I was doing the things that you're doing. You're going to thank me someday, I promise you this. Let me take a good look at you, huh? Come here. Ah, uh, you're too skinny, don't you think, Daniel? I think she looks great. See? Maybe I'll get used to it. <laughs> And that skirt, I think it's too short. I hope you don't run around like that in school. Actually, only when I wear clothes at all. You know, we're very free in Barcelona. <laughs> you make jokes about this. You're not there to catch boys. Catch boys? What is this, the 50s? Come on, all the girls dress like this. You are not all the girls. You're special. Don't forget this. Yeah, I know. You hear me? I know. You act like it, you dress like it. And you carry yourself right. as if you know it. Down, Mama, down. You're not helping, Daniel. I think he's been your perfect little helper. He didn't even invite me to his own wedding. You told her about that? Because I squeezed it out of him. I don't know what's the big secret. I, no, I told you. That was a mistake. I'd rather forget it. That's the macho act he keeps giving me. But I know he's really upset about it. Yes, well, we all were. It was a terrible thing. Well, I'll be right back. And hopefully, you'll tell me the truth when I get back. How dare you go against my wishes and bring your sister back home? She's your daughter, Mother. This is because of what I did to Michelle, isn't it? You're trying to get back at me. Thank you. Um, you just, you just got out of a marriage. Right? I mean, don't you think you should give yourself a, a week to two to figure out what you really want? <clears throat> I know. I know what I want. I want Jesse. We've been kept apart for way too long. So you guys have been able to just put things back together the way they were before, just like that? Well, yeah. Everything is actually better than it was before. Um, we were here last night, and it was perfect. We had a great time, and I really, really remembered why I fell in love with Jesse in the first place I did. And uh, it was great. Everything was perfect. You look like hell. Thank you. Well, no problem. you should just check out the half, no, the almost empty bottle of scotch in the cupboard. Drink the and Philip doesn't look any better. <laughs> Wish I'd have been there for that. <laughs> Sounds like the good old days, huh? Not quite. It just takes a little longer to recover, that's all. <clears throat> you know, Michelle, you and Jesse should think about taking things slow. After everything that's happened, they're probably going to be awkward. <laughs> Awkward, please. All. Oh. Can can we just keep our little voices quiet this morning? Can we just can we all do that? I'm sorry. Actually, there have been a few difficulties. Slight. Just you know, minor. How slight? Dinner was a disaster last night. Okay, do you want to talk about that? Well, I just feel like we are playing parts, like we're trying to be Jesse and Michelle and do everything that Jesse and Michelle used to do. But you're obviously not feeling it, right? No, and 
I want to. I really want to. That will come, Michelle. I know that you love Jesse, but when you left him, everything changed. It had to. I know, and see, that's why I have to make it up to him, because I caused him so much pain. And you think that having Jesse move into our house is going to fix this? Yes, I do, because we need time to work on a relationship, right? And, and I need to do that without anything interfering. What do you mean you care about me? I just don't want to see you get hurt, okay? That's all? I mean, Drew, you're going through a tough time, okay? You don't need anyone taking advantage of you ever again, okay? You know what? This big brother routine is getting old. I don't need a shoulder to cry on anymore. Drew, all I'm saying is just be careful for me. I will. If I want to sleep with a man who makes me feel better, Jesse, I will. Hey, that's why I need you out of here. Get me out of here. You're going to get yourself in trouble. Well, maybe I want trouble. It's the only thing I'm good at. Oh, Drew, stop it. You know that's not true. Oh, this is the part where you tell me how great I am, right? Here we go. How, how good a person I am and how pretty I am, right? But just not pretty enough to be your first choice. Not this again, okay, Drew? Do you know what it's been like for me, Jesse? Being so close to you this whole time and knowing that I'd never have a chance with you? Do you know how much it's hurt me every time you ran to me with your Michelle problems? Every time she'd hurt you, you'd run to me. And what did I do? I made it better, right? You knew that I loved you. You knew it was hurting me, but you still did it. Because you thought that I would always be waiting around for you. Well, guess what? I'm not waiting anymore. I never asked you to wait, Drew. But you never... expected no, it. No, I didn't. You expected me to stay available. And look at what you do. The first time that I'm not, you judge me. You stand over my shoulder and you criticize me. Well, I don't want to be judged anymore. I want to have fun. I want to date. I want to live my life without worrying what you or anyone else thinks about it. I am all alone in this world. And it's, it's time I started enjoying it. So what does that mean, Drew? I mean... What do you want to do? You want to pick up a phone and call up Danny well, Santos? Maybe, maybe. You never know, okay? Well, that would be a big mistake, Drew. Well, I can do whatever I want, okay? I know what I'm doing. No, you don't, okay? Michelle told me why she married Danny and what they put her through, okay? That's a dangerous family. You don't think I know that? I was the one who helped her set Danny up with the FBI. FBI? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Michelle asked me to. FBI? Do you get what you did, Drew? If the Santos find out what you did, you're, you're as good as dead. Well, maybe. But at the time, it didn't seem any worse than living without you. Have a slumber party or something? We did. Was it good? It was. Mm -hmm. Did you talk about me? Hmm? No. Tell me, Blake, do you tell your friends about me? Or do you lie to them like you lie to yourself sometimes? Stop it. How do you feel about me, Blake? When you're alone, do I get stuck in your head? And do you think about what it's like when we're together? You are so arrogant. I think about you, you know. You're not half as important to me as you think you are, so I would appreciate it if you would just leave me alone. No. You don't want me to go, do you? I do. I want you to go, oh, Ben. Please. Ben. Tell me how you feel. And then I'll go. Hmm. I can't do this. I can't give her up a second time. I just cannot do it. Vanessa, you have to. And believe me, I'm as much to blame as you are. Both of us let her down at certain points in her life, but this has got to stop. Dinah is an adult. She has to be held responsible for the things that she's done. Now, please, the thing to do is to prevent our daughter from hurting anybody else. Ready? What are you doing here? I called her here, actually. I have to talk to you. I don't think that's such a good idea, Cassie. He's right. I think the timing's off right now, Cassie. It's important. Look, Frank, Vanessa is not going anywhere, you know. 
Okay. Two minutes. What do you want? I want to talk to you from one mother to another. Okay, fine. Go ahead. I told you I would never feel safe as long as Dinah was on the loose. Yeah, I know. And I told you that you didn't have anything to worry about. As much as I want Dinah out of my life, as much as I want her in prison, you can't do this for me. You can't. So if you can look me in the eye and you can tell me that she's not going to hurt me, that she's going to stay away from me and stay away from my family, then I will leave you alone. And you don't have to tell Frank anything. Can you do that? She's in Lucerne. She's in Switzerland. The same convent where I was when I was sick. That's all I know. I know that was hard for you, but you made the right choice, Vanessa. That was... Mm. That was great. Yes. Mm. Mm. No, wait, wrong. Wrong. How did this happen? <laughs> the same way it always no, happens. No, no. Ben, this was crazy. I mean, they must be insane. It must be insane. Cassie could have walked in any minute. I, mean, I can't do this. I can't. But I can't keep doing this. This has to end at some point. I can't go on. You know something? You're right. I'm going to miss you, Blake. You mean more to me than you know. What? I don't want you to forget that what we had was not a mistake. It was real. You and I helped each other through some pretty bad times, and I shared something with you that uh, I may never have again. Ben, what are you doing? I'm giving you what you want. All right? I am leaving you, Blake, for good. Okay. Goodbye. You know very well that I don't want your sister knowing anything about the business. I have tried to protect her all I could, and now you're putting it in jeopardy. You have no right. Excuse me. I have every right. I'm her brother. Maybe I wanted to bring her here for myself. Did you ever think about that? that Maybe I wanted to spend some time with her. That was very selfish of you. Selfish? Who am I going to talk to? You? <laughs> no, M Michelle is gone. Nick's dead. I have no one on my side. I am on your side. Right. <laughs> my God, Daniel. Don't you think that I have Miss Pilar, too? Don't you think that after we, we lost Nick that I wanted to take the both of you in my arms and hold you tight and never let you go? Well, you have a strange way of showing it. Don't ever doubt that I love all my children. I think about Pilata every day, as I think of your father and your brother every day. She is alive. She belongs here with us. No, we will not let our emotions get in the way. I have done everything I could to protect her from who we are and what we do, and I'll be damned if I'm going to let your broken heart ruin everything. Well, she's only here for a week. I'll make sure she stays away from the business, okay? No, you will not. I don't trust you. You've already proven disloyal to the family. I am not one of your cronies. Don't ever talk to me like one. I said I'll handle it. Despite what you think, I am in control. No, you aren't. You haven't been in control ever since Michelle Bauer came into your life. You've been angry. You've been out of control. And I will not let you stop me from raising Pilar right. She will not have the life that I had. She will never find out about this business. What are you talking about, Mama? 